The Ringling Brothers grew up in the Midwest. They were sons of a poor immigrant harness maker. When they were little kids, the Ringling Brothers saw a circus. It came to town on a steamboat, and they wanted to set up their own circus. In 1882, the brothers have grown up, and Al Ringling has never given up his ambitions to start a circus. So he persuades his brothers to set up a little touring musical show. And they run this show for three years, and they start their own circus. They never had a partnership agreement. They trusted each other. They threw everything they made in the business back into the business. So in the space of just a decade, they went from being a tiny little regional rinky-dink circus to this large circus that's traveling across the country. Ultimately, when James Bailey dies, the Ringling Brothers buy Barnum & Bailey. For a while, they run the two circuses together, and they merge them and create the largest circus that has ever existed. And they're at the top of the game for a very, very long time.